Okay guys, welcome to Glitter Bus Style and this is day two of IVF. So I left off yesterday in the video mentioning that my medication was out of stock and I didn't know what to do. So um, my nurse at my fertility clinic, RMA New Jersey, contacted the pharmacy and I had two options. Either they could give me a, the generic medication, fallotism or something like that. I'll have um, it written down in, um, in words here. Um, I'm gonna go over the list of medications. So I could have done that and that was available and it would have been an extra $3,000, which we're not trying to spend because this bill is just increasing like every time we talk to them. So there was another option that I can do because it could not be delivered on time. They're closed on Sunday and it wasn't gonna happen. So I had to drive about 40 minutes, 45 minutes to pick up medication from a local pharmacy. And that's what I did. I drove 45 minutes and drove 45 minutes back, waited two hours to get the medication. So yesterday I was so exhausted by the time I came in, but I have my medication. I will show it to you and break it down and let you know what, what it is. And uh, tomorrow, day three, is really when the IVF like fully starts. I go in for monitoring, I go in for ultrasound, and I take my first injection shot. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but I have to do it. Um, also, in the last video, um, I'm just, my mind is like flickering because I want to make sure I make this video short but give you enough information. Um, I talked about an underlining issue or disease that Mike and I, my partner, um, are carriers of. So when you do IVF, let me drink and breathe first. When you do IVF, you have to go through genetic testing so it's just blood work to see what underlining diseases that you carry in your dna that's passed down from you know your family so we did that it's like over 200 and uh you know thought we were okay and they came back with an underlining um disorder that both of us are carriers of so it's like if one person's a carrier it's not a big deal but when both partners are carriers then it's like okay the rate of your child being a carrier becomes like 25 percent so it it raises a flag and they want to add more testing to make sure that the child doesn't have the disorder so the disorder that we have that we're carriers of is called congenital adrenal hyperplasia okay so that is excessive urination of sodium, early, delayed, or absent puberty. So the abbreviation for that is called CAH, C -A -H, C -A -H, okay? It's an inherited genetic disorder that affects the adrenal glands. Those with CAH lack one of the enzymes that the adrenal glands use to produce hormones that regulate metabolism, the immune system, blood pressure, and other essential, essential functions. This can cause a number of symptoms, including um, puberty, infertility, and low blood pressure. Adrenal glands are small glands located on the top of each kidney because I wasn't sure, any, I, I didn't know anything about it, so I wanted to like break it down and you know get inf much information and share it with any of you that may be ha getting tested and they say that you have this too. Um, they produce hormones that you can't live without, including sex hormones and cortisol. Cortisol helps you respond to stress and has many other important functions. With adrenal, adrenal, excuse me, gland disorders, your glands make too much or not enough hormones. So they said that, um, you know, it can be hard to determine if the child is boy or girl. And so they will be doing these testing um, as I do my treatment and also when they do the transferring of um, the, the embryos and stuff. And so they will be able to see if, you know, the child will have that. So it's just like another issue 
that we have to deal with. Hopefully to God that does, is not the case, that it does not happen. I don't know who the carrier is in my family, so we have to um, do further tests, my parents and Mike's parents, to find out um, which parent is has the underlying factor. So that's where we're at now. So it's, it, it is really a lot of detail that goes into IVF versus IUI. IUI was not as nerve wracking and um, I, I could do like five more IUIs and I can't complain because it was smooth sailing for me. And IVF has seemed to really be like the most annoying process and I'm not even in the middle and I'm partly in the beginning and it's just like so much that has happened and not happened and I just I'm just getting started so um, I'm gonna go over my medication that I have to take and show you guys some of them the rest of them are being delivered tomorrow because I got my period on Saturday so um, it usually should take one day but pharmacy closes on Sunday so it will be her Monday so I'll do like an open box or not open box an unboxing tomorrow when I do my day three Okay, so this is a breakdown of my medication. I would have pronounced it, but I think I'm going to mess it up because I'm not good at pronouncing things sometimes. So this is my medication list right here. Um, I will get um, the pricing. I know the whole bill of all my medications came to 47 something. So 4,700 and something something. So these are the medications and also the syringes and the dose here, the units, um, and this um, is just like the requirements of um, the injectables and how to take it. Um, and these were the generic uh, substitute that I could take. And these are also the refills. So I see a few of them that I have to, there's three re refills and um, I have to take so these are all my medications right here guys so our refrigerator is in the kitchen right now because we're doing a renovation and it's taking forever and it's not completed Michael um anyway so this is my medication um it's the what is it called it's called the low dose HCH um, it's in this bottle. I'm not going to take it out because I'm supposed to take it tomorrow and I'm going to show you guys that process. Um, it looks like there's a little bottle inside with liquid, so I'm probably going to have to use that and inject myself, obviously, and um, see how that goes. Um, and let's see, these are um, the needles here. These are the needles, these are the syringes right here. Okay, um, so the medication came in a, this, this right here with ice, a pack of ice to keep it cold. And these are the needles right here. And this is where the needles get dispensed right here. Um, they gave me this, um, I didn't have one. I know one's coming tomorrow too for their other medications. So I just dispose it right in here um actually have to look at my video of how to do my needles um i watched the video like two days ago but it was a different medication and it was the medication that it was the three thousand dollar more which was like it's three thousand dollars more and the needle looks smaller and it's like a whole different syringe it looks so much simpler so i was looking at that video and i'm like oh my god that's gonna be so easy to do and then once I realized it's, they gave me two medications and it was one or the other. And it was obviously the other one, which is this one, the bigger needle. Um, at least it's, it looks bigger to me. Um, so I'm, I looked at the wrong video. So now I have to go back and watch the other video with the bigger needle. So um, yeah, so that medication that's in the refrigerator right now was 149. This is all out of pocket and the syringes were four dollars so that's really it guys there's nothing i just tried to relax today i try to just get myself calm because i know tomorrow is going to be like a day that i'm going to remember and you know 
I don't know. I have to be at monitoring at um, anywhere from 6 to 7.30, and I'm a morning person, so I will be there definitely at 6 a.m., so I'll be recording. I don't know how beautiful I'll look in the morning at 5.30, but I'm just gonna look however I look and get this needle blood work, get that ultrasound done, and then let you guys know how it went. Hopefully everything is going smoothly. And um, do my shot tomorrow night, anywhere from 8 to 10 p.m. So um, tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm excited and because uh, it's the unexpected. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know. I'm putting it in God's hands no matter what. It's God is out there, God, Jesus, Lord, but whoever you believe in, you know, prayers up. But it's all in God's hands and that's all I can do is just like let him, him do his thing and I just have to accept whatever blessing comes my way. So um, that is it guys. I'm gonna have my thoughts on the blog. I'm gonna write a little bit more because I kind of been like, you know, cutting my, my content a little short on the blog because I feel that everyone is just like quick, quick on the go, on the go. And I like to write, I'm, that's, I'm a writer, like by heart and passion. So I think I'm going to just write more paragraphs and you know, if you're on the go, you just skim through it. And if you are really looking for information and you wanna learn something to educate yourself because you're going through this, then you will get um, all the information you can get because I'm going to give it to you, okay? So that is it. If you have any advice for me going through this for the first time IVF, please, please share. Um, if you have any questions for me, please ask me. I will do my best if I know the answer. And that is it. So for more beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and now, now fertility, you know where to find me. Always on my blog at Guru Bye, guys.